First on four, Cameron County has hundreds of first time DWI offenders every year, but now you may be able to spot them just by looking at their cars. CBS 4's Nora Salinas joins us live now to explain. Nora. Eddie, it's all part of the pre-tile diversion on a first time offense. Placing a bumper sticker on their vehicle. Drinking while driving is no joking matter. This, uh, you know, day and age where jobs are so scarce, as I just indicated, if you have any sort of criminal history, you're not going to get hired. The Cameron County DA's office is implementing a voluntary program that can help first time offenders get their cases dismissed. But there are new requirements, including these bumper stickers. You're going to be tested at least once a week, and that is going to hold you accountable. On a DWI offense, we also ask them to put on their car this bumper sticker right here, which is all about DWI awareness, about trying to get and help the public, you know, tell them that this person is a DWI offender, and, and if you see him drinking, maybe you can call the police because he's not supposed to be drinking. The stickers have the DA's name on them, and he says they're a way to keep the public safe, but not everyone agrees. I think the billboards and the message are a positive, however. The pretrial diversion program is for first time nonviolent offenders. And this bumper sticker is a couple things. It's a scarlet letter. It tells everybody that this person made a mistake. Attorney Jim Young says that while he thinks the program is meant to do good, it has its flaws. Even individuals who are not accused of using drugs or alcohol in the commission of their alleged offense are being randomly tested or selected for testing many times a week, in some cases four times in eight days, at a cost of $17 each time. They, uh, if they don't go because they can't afford it, or if they don't call in one day, it's listed as a fail, fail to test. Sign says the stricter regulations are necessary. The county was testing them once every 90 days, and now it's not doing it. I mean, people were manipulating the system. The worst thing that can happen is that pretrial diversion becomes so burdensome that nobody takes it anymore. The pretrial diversion program lasts one year, and that's how long people must keep the bumper sticker on their cars. The program also includes education classes, community service hours, or a $600 donation to a nonprofit organization. Live in the studio, Nora Salinas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.